All right, Rizai Strong followers. So today we're going to talk about how do I get better at remembering things. And this is the concept of spaced repetition. And where this comes from is this Ebbinghaus forgetting curve. It's this scientist back in 1885, like basically learned a bunch of syllables and then started to write down over a period of time the syllables that he was remembering. And what he ended up showing is, is that as time goes on, we tend to forget things. And I don't think that's a surprise to anybody. But then there's this concept of spaced repetition where you have a little bit of forgetting time and then there's a reminder that reminds you to look over the thing that you tried to remember. And basically you can do this over and over again. Imagine this is like playing an instrument. Uh, the more times you practice, the better you get or playing a sport. Um, and you can see that with each iteration of a reminder, your retention of the thing you're trying to remember gets better and better. Now, people frequently ask, well, how long should I set these reminders for? And what I can tell you is that you need at least one sleep cycle. And the thought here is, is that if you do things in the same day, that's great for short-term memory, but you actually need sleep to incorporate it into long-term memory. So your reminders need to be at least 24 hours. And then after that, it's long enough to have some forgetting, but not so long that you completely forget it and you're starting from scratch again. So I would say 24 hours to like two to three days is usually what most people would recommend for setting reminders for yourself. So why am I talking about this? Well, even though I'm born and raised in San Antonio, I'm not the greatest at speaking Spanish. And uh, it's classes that I took in high school and I obviously didn't keep up with it and I forgot. And so I have this app called Babbel that I use that basically sends me reminders on my phone um, to not forget to do my 15 minutes of Spanish. Um, and I try and set it for like once every two to three days. And so this is just an example of like, if you don't use it, you lose it. And so especially with Spanish, it's something that in San Antonio is needed. It's a very common language and it's something that I want to learn. And so instead of like taking formal classes, I downloaded this app that gives me reminders. And basically I'm just continuing to add to my vocabulary with the use of this and spaced repetition. So there you go. The concept of spaced repetition is just about setting reminders for yourself. And that's how you get better at remembering things. Let me know your thoughts, comments, and questions. And as always, thanks for tuning in. Until next time.